At the end of March, we saw hip-hop artist Lil Nas X release a satanic and gut-wrenching music video mm. of his song called Montero, Call Me By My Name. I've not seen this video, but it shows Lil Nas X giving Satan a lap dance. Wonderful. <laughs> Lil Nas X, whose real name is Montero Lamar Hill, wrote on March 27th, I spent my entire teenage years hating myself because of the stuff y'all preached would happen to me because I was gay. So I hope you're mad. Stay mad. Hmm. Feel the same anger you teach us to have towards ourselves. CNN writer Clay Kane writes an article in which he says Lil Nas X isn't worshiping the devil. <laughs> He's healing deep hurt. So what do we think this about this, This is just this, crazy ladies? to me. As soon as it happened, and I'm just going to jump right in, I saw so many Christians, as I was absorbing it, so many believers coming and saying, hey, you know, let's not, we can't, you know, in this cancel culture, we can't. And I just wanted to stop and say, first of all, it's against, it's not against flesh and blood. It's spirit to spirit. Yeah. However, when you read the Bible, you're not going to find one instance, David and Goliath. David didn't run out and say, hey, let me pray for you because you're going to threaten my people. No, you address the issue. And that tweet to me, the, um, when he says, you guys have been preaching it, well, that sounds like he got a dose of truth mm -hmm. from the Bible where it says homosexuality is against God's will and he's angry. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage Christians, you are not, I've heard this, we're responsible. You are not responsible yeah. for the wicked's deeds. That's Let me right. say that. That's well, good, Lauren. You're not, you're not responsible for that. You are responsible to call out truth because Jesus did. I've heard That's that too. Right. Christians, we, the church can't call out, no, you call, I'm sorry, call out sin. Jesus called out sin and truth. Um, and another thing that I found is, have you guys noticed when things like this happen, when they were trying to cancel Donald Trump, you hardly hear mm. any Christians say, hey guys, we can't cancel Donald Trump, mm -hmm. or we can't, no, no, it's silent. But when it's someone that's giving Satan a lap dance, you're hearing, all right, we just, and I get it. I get that you're supposed to love everybody, but hell is real. People yeah. are going to hell. The wicked are going to hell. And God's not soft to the p fact that hell's temporary. No, hell is permanent mm -hmm. and the wicked are going to go there. So it sounds to me like he made a choice and he's pursuing that. And when you're attacked physically, <clears throat> when you're attacked, you, you, if someone breaks into your house, you're, <laughs> okay, come on in. Let me give you yeah. a hug. Mm -hmm. So when you're attacked mm -hmm. spiritually, it's the same thing to rise up. I felt that in my spirit that the Lord was like, what? You need to speak and yeah. say something. And my, I, I've had this burden to share. Christians, you are not responsible That's for right. the deeds of the wicked. You are don't let anybody tell you different. As the church, we are responsible for calling out sin and calling out truth. Yes, doing it in love. But if you feel maybe, oh, I don't know, tap into your discernment in the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and just feel encouraged by that. And remember, so. there's two sides to every story. So he's coming out and saying, oh, everyone said all this stuff about me. But how do you know that's actually true? How right. do you know it wasn't his mother or his father coming to him saying, we don't want you to go to hell. What you're doing is wrong. Right. We want you to turn around or your life. Or someone saying it out of love. Out of love. Yeah. So if you're going to take the word of a guy giving Satan a lap dance, yeah. I'm yeah. a little fearful for you. And I would breath. just advise you to remember that there's two sides to every story. And we as Christians forget about the truth part. Yeah. We're that's really right. good at the love part, I feel like. Yeah. But then the, the love... It needs to be coupled with that's truth. Right. right. So. And you have, to, you have to think about it. Like, let, let's for real, let's think about it to hop off what you said. If someone's coming at my man, right, modern day, my hoops are coming off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not messing about. I'm yeah. not messing with it. That's so right. why, Christians, why are we not taking our hoops off ready to fight? Right. This is Jesus he's that's talking right. about. Right. Come on. Like, come on. Let's get a little on. Yes. yes. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I love it. Well, our very own Ian Patrick from FISM News writes that Nike is suing the company Mischief for copyright infringement. Mischief collaborated with Lil Nas X to customize and distribute this shoe. Mischief sold the controversial, sh controversial shoes in less than one minute at the cost of $1,018 wow. per pair. Mm. The cost is reflective of a verse in the Bible, Luke 10, 18, which in the NIV reads, He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. The verse is also featured prominently on the shoe along with the pentagram medallion hung around the laces. Insane. Wow. Okay. Can I just say <sighs> also that I feel like they are once again, the media, 
Satan is targeting our children. Yeah. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Because it's a pair of shoes. I mean, I don't know. As an adult, I don't see a commercial or an ad and think, wow, that's a really cool pair of shoes. And little I want to get that. And little Nas X says his market is children and he doesn't care. He's yeah. made that statement. Yeah. So let's just, as, as, as we're talking about the mm. sermon, let's just put that out there. Yeah. Because, come on. We, we yeah. got to wake we up. We got to wake up. We got to stop it. We got to protect our kids because that's what they're That's right. That's man. what they're saying. That's, that's right. who they're targeting. That's right. So good. That's well, right. Isaiah 520 says, what sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil. The dark is light and the light is dark. That bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. This is the mm -hmm. time when we need to lift up the name of Jesus mm -hmm. high to mm -hmm. fight against the evil darkness that our culture has made so normal.